Raw water. What is it? Is it scythe? Hey Skate Chatters, Skater D here. Thanks for clicking on my video today. Uh, for those of you who know me, I like to stay on top of current developments in health and fitness, and I'm willing to entertain a fad diet or two if it doesn't seem too crazy or bad for you. I've done plenty of weird stuff in the past, but I usually do a lot of research before jumping in, and if it seems like something harmful to be avoided, I'll walk away. But I mostly just like to be informed, and recently I came across this new fad called raw water. So what is raw water? Well, in simplest terms, raw water is water that hasn't been treated, filtered, or processed in any way, whatever that might mean. No fluoride, no chlorine, no filtering, nothing. They simply gather it from the source, bottle it up, and sell it to you. Oh, uh, did I mention that the raw water fad comes from Silicon Valley Elites, and that it costs $37 for less than 3 gallons? Yeah. So the big question is, how safe is raw water? Well, if you go to LiveSpringWater.com, you'll read a little blurb about Opal Spring, where they source their water from an ancient aquifer that they've extensively tested and has shown no harmful contamination whatsoever. They say that their bottling facility is a sterile environment in which they triple, rinse, and wash their glass jugs. They also, apparently, do test each batch for harmful bacteria. LiveSpringWater.com claims that no one has ever gotten sick from drinking the water they bottle. They also choose to transport and store their water in refrigerated facilities to protect the healthy probiotics present in their water, which they assure makes for an unparalleled freshness and health benefit. And then they go on to advocate people collecting their own spring water as the best choice. Okay, so what about the benefits of drinking raw water? Apparently, probiotics. Like yogurt, raw water is supposed to be full of probiotics. They even say that there could be countless other beneficial microbes present. Scientists just haven't discovered yet. Uh, sure. Could be. Could also not be, but whatever. The copy on LiveSpringWater.com goes on to talk about microbiomes in our gut, how anxiety, weight gain, fatigue, and countless other ailments are linked to an imbalance of proper gut bacteria. Well, maybe. Living spring water is, according to them, the key to unlocking a perfect microbiome balance. Now, of course, there is a caveat at the bottom of the page that reads, These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. Our services are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Consult your healthcare provider before making a decision to switch your drinking water source. So I would take their claims with a grain of salt. Drinking raw water probably isn't as bad as it seems. I mean, it's not like they're sourcing their water directly from a sewer. But added benefits? It seems specious at best. And as for sourcing your own spring water? Well, I'd be careful unless you really know what you're doing. Like gathering wild mushrooms, if you don't know what to look for, you're messing with a potentially deadly threat. When I was a kid, I used to go camping every summer, and I remember being told not to drink standing, untreated, unfiltered water. Generally, running water was thought to be okay, and water from springs was supposed to be the best. As far as I know, spring water is still the best, but you have to be sure that the water is free of contaminants, natural chemicals, and harmful bacteria. That's why I was always recommended to filter it and boil it before drinking. Plus, there are chemical treatments you can do and other processes, such as distilling, just to make extra sure the water is potable. You really want to be extra careful about your water sources, unless the idea of ingesting metazoan parasites, pathogens, nematodes, and other stuff sounds fun for you. In that case, you go right ahead and take a big gulp of swamp water. I'm good, though. I'm okay with not contracting cholera, E. coli, hepatitis A, or Jaria. Honestly, it's a weird story. I still don't think the water from LiveSpringWater.com is worth the asking price, but that's what you get when you throw a whole bunch of marketing buzzwords and hyperbole at gullible health and fitness fanatics ready to jump on the next trend. If you ask me, raw water is just a fancy name for spring water to make it seem like it's worth the asking price, but I'll let you decide. Thank you so much for watching my video. Have you tried raw water? Do you think the facts support it being a good idea to drink this stuff? I mean, water that has an expiration date? Does that seem normal? Leave me a comment. In the meantime, please subscribe to my channel for more videos on skating, health, and fitness. And if you'd like to help me out in a big way, become a patron of mine by going to the address listed below. 
I really do appreciate it. Thanks so much, and keep skating!